Hey there, strangers, my name's Eos, and this is Camera Obscura, a game I actually have owned for about a year at this point. I actually bought it specifically to do a video on, had some uh, technical difficulties, which uh, ruined my recording about five minutes into it, and then I just never got around to doing any more of it. So uh, today, we are going to rectify that by taking another look at this. And I honestly don't remember anything about it other than what's in the basic trailers for this game, so I can tell you basically what it's about. But what do you say we go ahead and get this started, and we will uh, talk about it as we go. Oh, hey, we're Obscura, or, I don't know, or maybe your name is Camera, I have no idea. So, tower, base, entrance. Cool. So, uh, play, so I guess maybe I got that far? I don't know. So, best time was 17 seconds? Very short, um... Levels, apparently. I don't remember. So, once this actually gets started, I will be able to show you the interesting little gimmick that this game has. I probably should have pointed out this game has an interesting gimmick, because it does. But, uh, hey, what do you say? We, uh, we'll just start it off, and I'll show you as we go. We got weird black bars on either side of this. Rather weird, um, bad dimensions, apparently. I don't know, so A to jump. A to jump higher. Cool. Let's run over here. <gasps> Is that a picture? Let's grab that picture. So, the tower. That's all it was. The tower. Civilization's greatest triumph, its most colossal failure, and an eternal tombstone. No one with any sense set foot near the tower, let alone ventured inside. I have a feeling we're gonna venture inside, because we have no sense around here. This is my channel, so no, we have no sense around here. What do you say we jump into here and just see what happens? So, the Grand Foyer, the tower base entrance. Alright, so, right now we just got some basic platforming going on here, but trust me, it's not going to be quite that simple in just a moment. But it's, it'll, it'll still probably not be that hard, but we'll have some uh, interesting gimmick going on in a minute. I will show you as soon as it lets me actually get to that thing. How am I supposed to get to that thing? I don't know. I don't have a double jump. So can I run? No. Oh. oh, do I already have that? I, I feel like the game, I'm not supposed to have that yet. Uh, well, either way. Here you go. So this game's big gimmick is, hey, we have a camera which allows us to recreate parts of the uh, level. So there you go. So now we can go over and grab this. There you go. So the rubble that choked the Grand Fourier was much, was as much as most dared to see of the tower. The sight affirming their cowardice and convincing them that they had no need to go any further. So yeah, we're probably actually about to get to the actual item properly in game in a minute. And that was probably just, uh, I don't know if I'm supposed to have that yet. I genuinely, again, I played this a year ago, but the interesting gimmick to this game is that you have uh, the camera obscura, which allows you to take a picture of the level in some range around you, and then it'll actually move around and then solidify so you can actually make platforms as you uh, jump around, which is really quite cool, <laughs> I have to say. So just do this. So I could use that platformer there, or I still have to use that platform because I can't jump high enough. It's fine. I've now locked myself in. Don't worry about it. Oh, no. So I feel like I guess I am supposed to have this power now. Wait till it starts to fade, or not. Oh, uh, uh, hold on. There we go. Let's go up here, and then no. How do I get up there? Hold on. We're gonna figure this out. We're gonna figure this out together. So, from here to over here! There you go. Then jump up here, wait for it to start fading. Aha! Oh, well, no. <laughs> Good work, you idiot. There you go. Now you got it. So let's just, let's go this way. It's probably something to the left. What do you say we make some progress? So apparently I played through the first, like, three levels or four levels whatever it showed in the intro bits right there but now where the floodplain locks the tower base entrance so um the only bit of story i know about this oh no what can i possibly do <laughs> oh wait i still uh, doesn't help at all does it have to figure this out as we go so let's just do this i'll give some more height barely that's probably enough though yeah it is so press the b trigger to create an after image okay so apparently i'm not supposed to have known about that yet she doesn't actually gain that power you just Learn it through tutorials later. So, apparently I'm not supposed to have noticed I could do that yet. My bad. Oh, oh that's a little bit weird. Um, this is an indie game. So, you know, little bits of weirdness are to be expected. And that's totally fine. Nothing to be ashamed of there. Because, you know, lower budget. Probably made by one or two people. That's how that often works. So, ha there we go. And then go like that. That's pretty cool. So, the after image will follow you until the camera is recharged. Then you can replace it by creating another after image. Okay, so, whoop. There we go. Wait for it to go. Come on. I believe in you. I believe in my ability to jump right at the right time. Yeah, there we go. Onward we go. So, I don't actually really know what the story of this is. Other, I just know you have a cool little, um, see, the drained aqueducts. You got a cool little weird power. Which, oh wait, I probably should have jumped a little bit sooner. That's fine. If we do it from over here, do it like that. There you go. It seems like most of the story we're getting is uh, going to be from... So we have to do a lot of 
time jumps or as this fades, apparently. Unless I just keep my distance, because as you can see, there's actually a limit to uh, how far that goes. I can also, apparently, uh, move this around with the uh, the right thumbstick, as I am playing this with a controller. Probably should have checked that jump before I made it. That was my bad. I'm sorry. <laughs> it was actually literally telling me about the thing I was just talking about. There we go. But it seems like the story is being told by the little photographs that I find. So we should probably find some more of those, because I am, as always, rather curious and interested in the uh, sort of world that we have discovered here. Okay, so, her camera had been her constant companion. Ever since she was a little girl, she realized she had some weird dimensional powers that nobody ever questioned, apparently, through this simple device. She could save those memories she liked and crop out the unpleasant bits. The unpleasant bits being anything more than, like, five feet to her left, apparently. Either way, here we go! Onward to more adventure! So, I've not been any enemies just yet. However, I did notice the ventilation shafts. This does not look like a shaft to me. I did, oh, that's kind of cool. Look at that. Let's go, Christ. Yeah, that's kind of cool. I like that. Um, see if there's anything above us. That could be rather interesting to this and that. Oh, oh, there is a thing up there. I was right. Okay, so we need to do it just right. So we do ha-ha and then ha-ha. Yeah, there. Oh, really? How do I get up there? How, oh, unless I, unless I do it this way. Oh, you sneaky gal. So you're still being sneaky. No, I'm not going to deny your sneakiness. So if I do this... And then this, and then when it's about to fade, I grab it up here higher, and then pull it down further. Oh, well, let's try that again. Aha! And then we've had to recharge, and I grab it up there, and pull where you go. That is more like it. You gotta think outside the box when you're playing Camera Obscura. So the labor of the sun sect was characterized by unthinkable harshness, but it was a burden, remem burden members uh, shouldered happily, what was a little blood and sweat where you thought you were building a stairway to heaven? Uh, I don't know. It's, uh, I, don't have any, I don't have any witty retort to that. It's uh, I'm not entirely sure. So let's do this. There we go. Kabuya. It's actually it's a really neat little gimmick. I like it quite a bit. Up there. And then pull you down. There we go. And just let it solidify. I do kind of wish there was a button just to lock in what you're doing. I kind of like that it... Uh, I like the gimmick of this, but I like to be able to do it manually instead of having to just time my jumps and hope that I do it right. So, the creator of the tower, uh, creators of the tower, were as ingenious as they were reckless. It was a miracle the tower stood at all after so many centuries of abandonment, given how thoroughly they'd crisscrossed the mountain with their digging. So apparently this is actually a mountain that we're inside of right now, which is kind of interesting. So let's go down here. And then, ha ha! I need to go to the right a little bit. Okay, so let's go down. Get down. Hey, hey, get down. So there, and then ha ha! There you go. I'm gonna do a lot of ha ha apparently. And away we go. Not particularly super difficult, but a really cool little gimmick that uh, it's, it leaves some, uh, because it's a collapsed storage, leaves some uh, room for creativity. So why to dismiss flash, dismiss flash tiles. Oh, so that is going to help a lot. So I mean, it doesn't help if I screw it up, but you know. It's, it's, it's a good power to have. That's not the right way. No, there. No, 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 this, and then that, and then that. There. I'll get it eventually, don't you worry. There we go. And then, uh, no. Okay, I gotta go to the right first. So here, and then up. I want a button to lock these in. That might be a thing that I don't know about yet. So right there. Then, uh, yes, oh, well, that did literally nothing. Ah, there we go, and jump, and then another one of these photos that apparently has a bunch of stuff written on it, which makes no sense. So she realized coming to the tower was probably a mistake, not for the danger to her life, which she had blithely faced many times, but for the danger to her heart, which she faced only once before. Uh, well, when she asked her to choose, when, when he had asked her to choose, oh no, does she have a broken heart? Oh, that'd be sad. Oh, I don't want that. Don't worry, Obscura. Oh, I'm actually supposed to go this way. I thought I was going to go back for a secret. But don't worry, Obscura. We're here for you or something. I don't know. you got weird magical powers. You should be pretty happy about that. Dried well, tower base entrance. Cool. Cannot do any wall jumping, which is a little bit sad. I may have just played some Super House of Dead Ninjas, and I'd like to be able to wall jump. That'd be great. So most people would probably be afraid of being down in the bowels of the earth alone. But she wasn't. She, uh, she'd always been alone. Comfortably alone. Until she'd offered an alternative. Not sure why that got so dark, but apparently she's very angry about it. And I don't blame her. Apparently she's been alone, which sucks. I've been alone for many things, many times. It's often not very fun. Let's go over here, turn that off, there we go. So once you actually have that little turn off power, which I probably already had and just didn't know about it, that's actually quite useful. 
I still want a lock-in power. I'm hoping that shows up at some point, but we will find out uh, when we get there, I suppose. So, uh, there we go, and drop it. There you go. Okay, so why has she come here anyway? What is she hoping to gain? She knew this place was a tomb, a home only to the dead. Well, that's getting really, really deep and dark and depressing. Uh, but uh, look at the visuals. It's all light and perky and happy. It's got, um, kind of old school. Oh, hey, we got past the first section. How many are there? I'm assuming there's more than four, but I haven't been through all of them clearly, so I don't know. So, tower base, the bowels. It's a really terrible name. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh, the game's sputtering a little bit there. Let's just get to playing before it messes up and dies. So, hey, we got our first, let's see, subterranean fissure? I think that's what that said. I wasn't looking. So, tunnel slimes haunt of the ruins and dark places of the world, sucking scum and decay from the floors. Were it not for the lethally toxic ooze they secrete, uh, yeah, secreted, they'd almost be kind of cute. So they will hurt you if you touch them. Can I stomp on them? Ow. Oh! Oh no, Obscura, you have died! Yeah, okay, apparently not. So, that's not a turtle. I got achievements that you probably can't see that says that's not a turtle because we're not playing Mario. I kind of appreciate the uh, reference they made there. And away. Does this move you guys? If I do this, it does! Oh, that's kind of cool and terrifying. Oh, neat. Okay, so do that, and then jump, and then uh, dash that away, and then go through the sun door. Yeah, there we go. So, if this area, or this game already only has those four areas. Oh. Hello, how are you? It's a button. Oh, I unleashed the slime. Oh, no. Um, oh, do this. It's confused for a second there. And then that opens that. I want you to go over there. Ooh, why is this staying? I don't know, but I'm happy it did. And up. And there. Oh! Oh, jerk and monster. I got two achievements for squishing the slimes. Oh, no. Uh, so, there were some smells, sadly, that even centuries of abandonment could not get rid of. But no indignity was too much to bear for a chance. An absolution. If you say so. Here we go. Just gonna do this. Oh, I need to go a little bit further over first. Let's do it from here. There we go. And then that, uh, oh no. What do we, uh, Obscura? What are we doing here? I don't, oh no. Uh, oh, here. And then, little, little bit. And then jump. Yes. No. Oh, Obscura wide. I don't, I, her name's probably not Obscura, but I don't know what the crap her name is, so I'm gonna go with that. Here we go. Press the button and then do this. And then jump. Nope. Okay, so we're going to have to, so at least I know this, I like how that works, that's actually pretty cool. So I get over here, can I do it a little bit sooner and actually drag it further? No. Okay, so I need to just grab it here, make it just far enough, don't, pfft, just far enough that I can actually, um, make the jump, I suppose. So let's do this, and then grab and squish! Oh, didn't squish, uh, I can't, apparently can't grab that stuff, that's good to know. Okay, so over here, and then here, then go, yes, jump, yes. And then go, and then jump. Oh, uh, uh, oh, ready? Jump! Yep, yeah, no! Ah, oh, Obscura, why? Obscura, why do you do this to me? I just want to help you succeed. Are we not friends? You and me, this person you've never met? Oh. If I run for it, she seems to be able to do a little bit better. Yeah, oh, and jumping also is good. Jumping is good there. But squish! Squish him! Squish him good! Ha! Ah, yeah! Take that, you disgusting slime. You don't belong in this world. So, and. Oh, no! This is, oh, at least there's a checkpoint. I appreciate the checkpoint game. I really do. Okay, so, ooh, and then jump. Ooh, oh, no, I'm scared. I'm scared this is a bad place. Ooh, okay. So you grab it here, and then go. Ah, there we go. Why is all the stuff up there at the top? They were gonna loop around. Apparently not. Sure, why not? So, scattered staircase. Can't remember if I actually said it, but uh, this game only has these four zones. Let's see what's down here first. Might be able to get through uh, half the game in this one episode. We'll find out, I suppose. Hey, there's a thing down there. So if I do this, and then drop down. Oh, okay, apparently I'm just gonna stand on that. So we get down. Oh, no, drop, drop down. Ooh, no, oh, uh, mm, yep, do this. No, obscure why? I keep saying that, but stop dying. It's really, it doesn't help me. It makes me have to replay things, and people are like, hey, I'm watching this. Could you, could you not suck? And I'm like, I'm sorry, it's not my fault. Even though it totally is. All right, so before she'd stopped caring about such things, she'd read articles about herself that described her as daring and a risk taker. But they didn't know. They couldn't know. They knew uh, the truth that she knew. The, the instant she turned her back, uh, at the one moment it really mattered, she'd proven herself a coward. She, she hoped she'd be given the chance to disprove it once she'd reached the summit. She's probably about to go, like, die in a hole here, so... I don't know if she's gonna get to prove anything. She's gonna die in a hole unless I do this! 
Oh, that was pretty snazzy. That's pretty good going, me. You did you did good for once. Good going. I am I'm a proud of me. I'm a proud of me. Yes, that's what I said. Just leave me alone. <laughs> it may be like eleven o'clock at night. I may need uh, brain sleep. Versus what kind of sleep? A brain? What, what what other kind of sleep is there? I'm not entirely sure. Stop talking to yourself. Anyway, no, that did nothing. Ooh, there you go. Turn that off. And now, blessed, cursed, haunted, whatever you want to call it, the fact that the tower remained standing for so long after its inhabitants vanished was an enigma few ever dared to explore thoroughly. I don't know why I've made this like a really dramatic reading, but I kind of like doing it that way. So hey, onward we go through the creepy sun door. Hooray! Everyone's having a fun time in creepy sun door land. So, the Penient Apartments? Is that what that said? I don't know. I was busy swallowing it for some reason that took brain power. Here we go. So, the tower wasn't a building so much as a, uh, an entire city turned on end. There were probably all sorts of rare treasures and antiquities, or antiques. It's the antiques. <laughs> there you go. To find, but all she truly cared about was reaching the top. Now she's gonna die because there's a slime. Oh no, she died because there was a slime. It's almost like I called it. Because it's not happening in slow motion. Or we just freeze time to read that thing somehow and up we go and then jump and the thingy there we go so let's go from right here to here and then here oh look here <laughs> oh there's oh, gonna be a thing down there let's get that um the here that's down here Whoop. and then do the thing there you go hey it's a here i knew it so why had he chosen this place for burial she wondered oh no uh he wasn't part of the sun sect what reason could there be to go through all the expense and danger just to bury a body at the top of the world? That's, um, deep and creepy and kind of cool at the same time. I don't really know what to think about any of this. Apparently we're going to do this running thing again. So, oh, there we go. Thank you very much. Jump down here. And then mounts on up here. And then upward we go. Uh, Obscura here. I'm just going to call you Obscura. You mind if I call you Obscura? Because I'm going to call you Obscura. You're a fictional character. You can't really get mad at me. If you are mad at me, then... Oh no, a fictional character is bad at me. That's kind of terrifying. All right, so let's go this, and then jump. Yes, there we go. And then smush the, oh, I just released the slime. Release the slimes! Get over there. Just go fall off that hole. There you go, see you later, loser. Ooh, this animation's kind of cute. Just like the game said. All right, so, whoop, whoop. nope. So maybe from up here, I can jump higher. Higher, there we go, oh, not quite. Getting pretty close there. Try here, and then, whoop, no, maybe, maybe, nope. Oh, that's what I need to do. Oh, that's clever. I think. I think it's clever? Let's find out. You grab that and drag it over here. Oh, no, I thought I could grab the thing from the other side. That would have been really neat. Okay, so, uh, grab this and jump up like that. And then, heart! Oh, come on. Ah! This isn't actually really... Okay, let's see. Try here. Oh, no, here. And then here. And then up. And then there we go. I, that's it. That's it. I just gotta do it better. Oh, no, hold on. And then, no, stop getting stuck on things. Getting stuck on things again. And then, no. Okay, hold on. And then, and then, <laughs> this is awkward, but kind of cool. Okay, so I need to grab it from here and then up and then, oh, gotta do a little bit to the right. Oh, come on. We're gonna do this. Don't you worry. There you go. Good going, white haired girl with adventurer outfits. I named you Obscura, but I was trying to think cross crosswalk. I thought I said sidewalk. I was trying to think of something clever, and I failed miserably, as you all heard, right there live on my channel. Just gonna squish the slime now. No slime! Oh no, you've disappeared. I didn't actually squish him. I don't know what happened. It's fine. Don't worry about it. So apparently there was no point coming down here. I've just wasted everybody's time. I uh, apologize. It's something I do sometimes, because I don't know what I'm playing here. Just, uh, just looking around. I'm exploring. Hope you guys like exploring. If you ever like exploring, like, comment, and subscribe if you like exploring. I don't know, it's not seriously. I just find that joke really funny for some stupid reason. Oh, that's the exit, which means there's gonna be one of those photos over here. So let's go grab a photo. What do you say? What do you say we explore and find us some photos? Whoa, that was not the right way to go. Let's try it here, and then up, and then from here over there, and then up. Yes, there we go. And then here over there, and then up. There we go, we figured it out. Unless there's a second exit, which would be kind of neat, to be honest. I would like to be able to have second, uh, secondary paths. That'd be neat. Is there nothing up here? Have I wasted everyone's time once again, just like I mentioned I occasionally do? Don't intend to, but I do it sometimes. Okay, so here, and then whoop, there we go, and then jump. You have the weirdest platforming to do this. You have to like start jumping and then stop and then go back and then hope that the, 
the floor you were standing on decided to stay there. It's really quite interesting. But hey, we found another thing. So she purposely, uh, she supposed she owned it. Uh, I'm going to try reading this again. If you don't mind, I'm going to try to do a uh, second grade reading here. So she supposed she owed it to him to come after the accident. She'd heard uh, what had happened. Uh, knew this had been chosen as the burial spot, but she had to see with her own eyes she owed him that much. There you go, you made it through. You tried really hard, you eventually got there, don't worry about it. So, I think we're going to see if we can get through the uh, the end of this little segment here. So, the dilapidated steps, the base of the battles, and, uh, before we uh, end this video. It seems like it could be kind of fun. So, as much as the crumbling staircase looked like a death trap waiting to happen, she knew it would only get far worse. It doesn't say if I added far for some reason. Get worse once she got further inside the tower proper and began ascending. If you say so. Sure, why not? I'm cool with that. I mean, I'm cool, I'm cool with what? Being killed by that slime, that slime right there? Is that the one you were cool about? I feel like you shouldn't have been cool about that, me. I feel like you should have thought that through. It's fine. Don't worry about it. <laughs> no idea. Just gonna wait here for a second. It's a pair like you just, just put out the slimes. Hi, slime. How you doing, buddy? You gonna go down the hole? Oh, there's another. Oh, is there an infinite supply of slimes here? That's what we're doing now. Apparently, it is. Okay, so let's uh, let's do that, and then that, and then that, and hey, let's get away from the slimes. Squish that slime. Oh, that poor slime. All it wanted to do was murder me <laughs> by touching me. It wanted to touch me with its acid face, which seems like a really weird superpower. Not gonna lie. Yeah, like, oh, we had a superhero named Acid Face. I feel like, uh, I don't know how many people would buy that. <laughs> so very odd. No, jump through the door. Oh, come on. All right, let's try this again. Can I get through this like I said I would? But we are going to do the thing. It's not that hard. I just thought maybe I could rush that and it might work. <laughs> that actually worked too. Hey, if I can jump up here and just do this. There we go. I squished the slimes and gave myself a staircase. So I saved myself and murdered at the same time. Cool, you are a true hero. Good going, Obscura. You're the you're the hero we all were asking for. Ooh, uh, okay, nope, I can't do that one. So get down here. Get down here and be annoying. Ooh, around you. And then this, and then squish him! Yeah, there we go. Now, away we go. Hey, there's actually our infinitely spawning up there. Did they have a place to fall out of the world? Or are they just clumping up down there? I don't really know. <gasps> Slime! Slime buddy! You're helping me, apparently. That's actually kind of interesting. Oh, crap. <laughs> I was not to put into press. It's fine, though. Apparently it didn't even matter. It doesn't even matter now what happens. I will never give up the fight. I also will not stop quoting uh, Sonic the Hedgehog music. It's this thing I just keep doing for some reason. Woohoo! Yeah, there we go. Across here, apparently. Oh! Oh, I could have escorted the slime to get some stuff, couldn't I? Oh, that probably has a secondary objective there. That would actually be really cool. But I'm not gonna bother with that right now, obviously. But still, that's really cool. Lower Spiral Terrace. The, the Whatever that thing said. So... As scavenger moles, known as ruin rats by those familiar with the forgotten place of the world, forgotten places of the world, uh, were fairly docile and oblivious, but reacted extremely violently to being touched. The slow, blind, snuffling beast transformed into a whirl of fangs and claws at the slightest provocation. Okay, let's try it out. Hi there. Well, pfft. a whirl of fangs and claws. It was terrifying. Did you see what happened there? Oh my! Oh, it was the scariest thing I've ever seen. It changed into a different GIF animation. <laughs> Not to knock the creator of this game. This is actually pretty, it's a cute little thing. Not the most difficult. We actually like it a little bit. Like the, the floaty jump makes us not the most uh, action-packed platform. I had a feeling there was gonna be something up here. I was right. So hey, uh, Scrapbooker, I got an achievement down there. Uh, so the Great Spiral Terrace would mo uh, wound most of the way up the tower, providing some of the uh, edifice's most breathtaking views. It was, however, also one of the most weathered, eroded, weathered and eroded sections, uh, forcing would-be explorers to crisscross through the interior, wherever it had crumbled or collapsed. Cool, cool, cool. But I feel like uh, it could have this be like a little bit more of a, a punchy, snappy platformer would be kind of cool. But uh, what do you say we finish this? Oh, cellar storage. Okay, cool. So I guess we're going to fight a few more of those. I was hoping to get through this section before ending this video, but I don't want this video to be half an hour long. It's a cool little game, but I don't want it to be too long. I don't know how much uh, people would be interested in watching a long video of this sort of thing. Well, there we go. I could have gone back to the left. We all know I could have gone left and then crisscrossed back around. There's probably a, a picture directly above her. But like I said, I want to make some progress here and see what we can see before we end 
the video. <laughs> yep, there we go. I attempted to rhyme, and I think I succeeded magnificently. Hey, we found a thing. There we go. So the tower was the ultimate expression of the sunset faith. Even those in the crowded, musty bowels of the tower considered themselves blessed, nearly beyond reasoning, to be living and working in the sixth masterpiece. How then it came to be abandoned virtually overnight was a subject of much debate. Maybe the sun came down and killed them. Maybe it was this Mario uh, 3 sun? Like, you know, that thing's terrifying. Maybe that's what I... It kind of does look like the Mario 3 son. The Super Mario Brothers 3 son. It's in all those, uh... The... the well, Hey, Spelunker! Hey, I got a achievement down there. In all the, the desert levels. That thing was freaking terrifying. But hey! We have now completed... Boss, no, there's another one up there. Oh, so we got... One, oh, we actually... We have one, two, three. And there's at least two more there. I bet you there's more up top. So hey, we have not actually beaten half of this game. But still, that's pretty cool. So triggers, custom levels. I'll go custom levels. Oh, that's kind of neat. I have no custom levels. That's cool. I guess I have to browse that somewhere. But either way, this right here has been Camera Obscura. It's a pretty neat little thing. Look, now that I know that I'm not even halfway through this game, I was going to say initially that it's a little, it's a little bit dull um, and it's a little bit uh, easy. But since we are not even halfway through, I have a feeling... That, uh, they'll probably add some more stuff into this. I'm gonna give them the benefit of the doubt. I usually like to do that with uh, games I've only had a little bit of a a little bit of a taste of, especially indie games. Because I don't I don't want to sell indie games short. I love indie games. If you haven't figured that out for me, just showing them all on this channel, um, I love indie games quite a bit, and I'm uh, willing to come some slack because I mean it's very low budgets, and there's only a few people making stuff, and apparently I'm going to read one more of these before we leave. So a morbid testament to the craftsmanship. The geothermally powered machines of the tower far outlasted the people that had built them. Uh, continuing to run their routine, or the, run their routes and tasks long after anyone who was around to use them. That's, that is actually rather depressing. That explains why these little moving platforms are here. But hey, there you go. So either way, this right here has been uh, the game in which apparently I need to jump slightly higher. This right here has been Camera Obscura. I hope you guys have enjoyed a little bit of physics bending magic, which I actually like quite a bit. Oh, I'm going to get to the end of this level. <laughs> I've decided it now. I hate ending on like midway through stuff. It's, it's probably pretty apparent if you watch my videos that I tend to do that a lot. But hey, here we go. Hey, ooh, hey, ah, ho. And we're going to end this video right about now. I hope you guys have enjoyed. Take care. And I will see you next time!